just yesterday I posted a cover of to my Instagram and it did really well so I thought let's do some more Elton John. Today we're breaking down Benny and the Jets. Elton John was actually the first white singer on Soul Train. Do you know number two? I'm gonna break down the intro and easy version and a more closely to the piano version. Tabs on the screen, printable tabs will become a Patreon up here in the link. That's for this lesson and every lesson, including our previous ones. But if you just like what we do, go ahead and hit subscribe and a thumbs up. That really does help as well. New ukulele Wednesday and Saturday. Subscribe, guitar Monday, and let's do it. Grab the ukulele, brain, Benny and the Jets, attention span, and David Bowie. That was the second. And let's break it down. Follow me on it. All right, let's have some fun. Let's break the intro down first. The easier way to do it, easier way to do it. We're gonna need a G major seven, which is zero, two, two, two. You can either bar these three strings with your index finger, open G, or you can kind of play it like a low D chord. Make a D chord, everything down a string, zero, two, two, two. And we're gonna go down on this, one, two, three, Four, just like that, but you want to release your fingers to stop the sound. I heard someone uh, call it chopping wood kind of strum. Chop, chop, chop. We do that six times for a measure and a half. One, two, three, four, one, two. Then this time here, we're going to go up and we're going to grab... 7th fret on the A string, down to 5, 2, 3, and then we're going to strum down on an F. So we go 7, 5, 2, 3, boom. Keep that pinky there and strum down and then lift it for the next down strum. After the 7, 5, 2, 3, try to play it with your pinky, keep it down and then strum an F chord with your pinky down. You're only gonna do it with the pinky down once, then you lift the pinky and just strum down on these Fs like normal. So you go seven, five, two, three, down, down, down. And I'm still doing my best to kill those sounds with these loose fingers. If that's hard, just down on the Fs, right? One, two, see how my index finger, my ring finger, but you could just down, 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 down. You're gonna do that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, do, 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 do. After doing it seven times, four times, and three times, you're gonna hit one, then you're gonna go one, three, four, one, one, three, four, boom. Thumb. Second fret here, and then these two fingers are gonna play the E and the A strings. Do, 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 do. Because this next note, A, is the same as this open string. So it's the same as going. And then we're into the verse. So let's go. All right, so the intro, the easier of the two ways. Or, well, we could say the bar chord freeway. into the verse, and we'll take a look at the verse in a second. The bar chord way is a G major seven here, barring the seventh fret with your ring finger on the ninth fret. Same amount of downs, one, two, three, four, one, two. And the riff sound maybe even a little easier. Keep your finger down, play seven of the A string, then seven of the G string, then seven of the E string, and then eight. And then move that finger down to five and get your ring finger on the seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, do, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three. Then it's five, five, seven, eight, to the same A.
into the verse. Okay, so the bar chord technique. One, two, three, four. Into the verse. So the verse starts off with that pinch, and then over the A minor, well, the chords, you're going to need an A minor, a D, we're going to play a G like this, bar the second fret, middle finger here on the third fret of the E string, and your ring finger up here on the fourth. Because if you get your pinky down on the fourth fret of the E string, it becomes a G sharp diminished. We're also going to see in, well, we've seen the A minor and D already, an E minor, B minor, and a C that you can either play the easier way, or you can play fifth fret of the G, fourth fret, third fret here of the E and the A. So five, four, three, three, or just three. The only other chord we're going to see is, well, it's a G, but we're going to call it an E minor D. So, so we've seen it, but we're going to call it something different. And those are all the chords for the entire song. So let's take a look at the verse. It starts off with that pinch from the, and then you're going to let that ring for one beat, and then you're going to give it a down, down, up. One, two, and a three to the D. And over the D, you're going to go down 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 up three four and a so the strum pattern is down 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 up 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 down 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 okay a minor we start with that little to g g sharp diminished back to a minor D and then E minor. So so far we have Okay. We follow that up with A minor, B minor, C. Now A minor, B minor, C. And I like to let it ring. So I like to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom. Now you can do this C again. It would be A minor, B minor, C. And really, we're only doing half that strum pattern over the C. So we're going down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, four, chorus. Okay, so let's strum through the whole verse. One, two, three, four. Four. Into the chorus. It's a six measure verse. It's kind of weird. It's kind of bizarre, but that's it. So let's take a look at the chorus now. What's wild is the chorus is eight measures. So the chorus is actually longer than the verse. If you know any other song that does that, let me know in the comments below. Because as far as I can tell, this is the only song I know that does it. Very, very unique. So it starts off with a G. We're going to use two strum patterns this time over the chord. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. To the A minor. Same thing. from there to the C and the G. Now the second half is gonna have a little more movement. We're gonna play the A minor. One strum pattern on a C, one on a D. 
one on the E minor, but then you're going to play one on a G, but we're going to think about it as a E minor with a D in the bass. I know it's kind of cheesy. Then we go to a C, and that is Benny and the Chance. And the C, you're going to do one string strum pattern down, 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 up. Let it ring four into the intro. And the intro functions as a bridge between the chorus and the next verse. So let's go ahead and play through the chorus. One, two, three, four. into the second verse. The outro is a little different though because it goes back and forth from the G to the F. So let's look at that. It has the same like vibe, I would say the same feel, but you're gonna go G, Benny, Benny, and you're gonna do it one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, do, do, do. So you go do, 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 do. Now, depending on how much you want to emphasize that G, you're going to go one, two, and then either just strum down on the G major seven, or one, two, G note, then down like one, two, will be four, and one, two, three, four. Or you can do the pinch like we did with the verse and go four and one, two, three. And that's the one I prefer because you can still hear that nice G note in there. One, two, boom. So let's play the outro. We're going to go G, F, G, F, and then I'll show you how to finish it too. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. E, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And you just do, do. Let it ring the very last time through. One, two, open G, and then just strum there. And that's how you finish the song. Since those are all the pieces, why don't we go ahead and just play it like the intro, verse, chorus, then outro, because that's the entire song. You would just repeat that cycle. So from the top, um, oof, I really like this more, but let's keep it easier. One, two, three, four, and...
Jets. Benny and the Jets. for learning with us new ukulele wednesday and saturday guitar on monday think about becoming a patreon you get a pdf with every single lesson it's cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger and until next time rock and roll take care and have a lovely day catch you on the flip side